Hello everyone and welcome back to Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I'm wearing a different shirt and usually that means that it's a different day of recording, but it is not even 9 o'clock and I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game so I really want to give it a go. Instead I switched shirts, I picked this up at GameStop a while ago because it was on sale. It's got the whole runner tattoo thing, face tattoo, except it's not a tattoo yet, it's a drawing of significance that we don't quite know, but it's significant. Uh, anyway, I felt it was appropriate to switch into that for uh, getting close to the end of the game, or at least what feels like it. Uh, also, the shirt is too small for me, <laughs> but I'll see if I can like find something appropriately sized, like online or something. Anyway, yes, uh, we're ready to talk to Plastic and see about getting into the shard. Let's do it. I'm Butter. Let's play something. Okay. Plastic and Dr. Mera have finalized the reflection virus. With it, you'll be able to destroy Kruger's reflection project and save Icarus, Dr. Mera, and thousands of other citizens in glass from emotional enslavement. Go to Plastic's hideout and pick up the virus. Dr. Mera and Plastic will know what the next steps are. Well, we're in luck because we're here right now. I was sleeping. Whatever keeps him busy. Is it ready? Of course it is. Didn't we say so? No. There's a console in the main control chamber in the shard. Upload the virus there. It'll permanently corrupt the carrier signal and cause the reflection nanites to go inert. You just need to get to the top. The rest will take care of itself. More or less. Simple, right? Right. It'll be the greatest run ever. If I live. They're holding something back. There's no time like the present. Especially plastic. She knows more than she's letting on. Don't die. Aww. What she said. This is our one chance to nip reflection in the bud. Come on, girl. Save us all. This is the finale. This is the finale. Might take a couple episodes here to do this, but we're in the end game. This way? Okay. Where exactly are we going? Uh, anyone want to tell me, hey, you're going to this thing or that thing? Yeah, there we go. Ready for you, Faith. Head to the Zephyr Transit Hub and get on board somehow. I'll drive it. Here. We also disabled the safety override system. I'll drive so it, it she says. Should be a smooth ride all the way to the shard. We disabled the safety, so it should be smooth. You know, something about the way you said that just makes me hesitant. But you know, the way you said it was perfectly smooth, which, in its own way, is hesitance. I probably can't fast travel on. Oh, I don't need to. It's right there. Yeah, because I'm, I'm mid-mission, so I can't just fast travel to wherever I would need to go. Uh, hop this thing all the way up there, and then we'll have that ladder with the fun scrolly lights to go down. There it is. Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, start mission. 
This is it. You have the virus and you know where you need to go, which is to the very top of the tallest building in glass. What awaits you there remains to be seen. Will Kruger be there? Your sister? Will the virus work? Why would... Why would Cap be there? Except she will, of course, because... Convenience and stuff, and we haven't talked to her at all, and there should be some story beats about talking to her, and... Rrr, reflection must be stopped, and you've decided to risk everything to do it. For your friends, for all the employees out there who aren't even aware of the danger it possesses, and for Noah. Except... Oh, I never synchronized, did I? Whoosh. According to the latest tally, almost half a million employees have already Ow. signed up for reflection. Synchronize. First adopters now number in the tens of thousands. It's a complete success. It's messing up the grid. It'll mess a lot of things up if we don't stop it. Not the least the host themselves. Once Kruger starts experimenting with the influence parameters on a mass scale, all bets are off. Sort of a pity we won't get to see it. No, it's not plastic. Glass is just the testing bed. If reflection is successful here, the conglomerate will make it mandatory for all employees in Cascadia. It will eradicate what little personal freedom there is left. Oh, sure, when I'm finally about to duck one. What Plastic is saying is that she's managed to access a bunch of news drones. We'll be able to follow you all the way up. And I can use them to hack services in the building. All the earth and stuff. Looks like they're evacuating. Only a few. They still seem to think that the damage can be repaired. Stay on the move, fans, but watch out for damaged areas. The glass there might be brutal enough to break under your weight. Ah! Normally I would be able to survive that, but it's like, you don't need to be down there for the mission. You're not going to be able to get back up. Although if it was an immediate return, that would be swell. I'm, I was trying to walk on the beam. Uh, okay. So you can kind of see which ones are going to go. Sort of. Going up. Uh, here we go. So now they know it. They were already at high alert following the bombing. They'd shoot at anything. Oh, they were shooting through the windows. Okay. Expect the control chamber to have some sort of security in place. We've been unable to find its parameters, so you what? should assume the worst. What? What? Plastic. First, it doesn't take me all the way up. No surprise. Wish I could be there with you. Figure the drop in on the party. Glad to see you're doing good. I can't wait to get reflection out of my body. It doesn't work like that, Icarus. The virus will corrupt the carrier signals, which will disable the nanites, but they will still remain inside you. Wouldn't your liver and all that take care of it at some point? That's due to the change in air density. I just looked it up. Oxygen content will go down as well, but that's on a serious problem below 18,000 feet. And you won't go that high. What if they Thanks. shut down the reflection carrier signal before I get there? From what we can see, they still expect the building to remain intact. Some have evacuated, but many remain. You're stupid. Oh, we might be wrong, Plastic. Set a chance. I've done the calculations twice. Plastic, have you ever been wrong? No. <laughs> you need your Mac to continue upward. See if you can find an attachment point somewhere. Oh, that's a big fan. You should be able to ride one of the blades on oh, I was hoping she was going to say that. <laughs> That's awesome. This is great. 
Yes! <laughs> that was cool. Oh, I was hoping I'd get to do that. I've reached the top. Oh! Goodbye. You can go to one of the fan states. Um, I'll shut it down. Please? There. Hurry. Oh, of course, that one. You could tell me which one you're gonna shut down. Their firewalls are a joke. My sister could hack through them, but she's even more stupid than Kuma. Stop making fun what? of Kuma. The loss of love. Oh crap. See, I saw that coming. I should have just let it go before jumping over. I need to look two pipes ahead to know where I can evac to. Leave yourself an out. Well, one thing I remember from My sister the driver's them. edge. Okay. Of course, with everything going all depth of fieldy, that makes it a little more difficult. No! Don't wall run it! Don't! Oh, oh, there was something to stand on. Whew, okay, good, good, glad, good. Hi, drone. Okay. Some sort oh, of that's atrium. idyllic. Seen this many trees before. It, there's one. Most employees don't know it, but fresh water is fast becoming a valued commodity in Cascadia. And look at them wasting it! Look at these evil fuckers. Use the vent at the top. We'll lose contact for a bit again. Okay. Ah, that wasn't the way to do that. Whoa! Uh, okay, that's that is one way to do that. Out, grab. Ah, there we go. That's probably the same thing with falling debris here. Although well, if they showed one hitting that drone, that would have sold it a little more. What? Ooh, where? Oh, there's a thingy in the middle. That's interesting. I wonder where that was. Take 
take our time. Look at that one. Jump to that one. Let that go past. Let that go past. Crap. Where to? Oh, it's right flipping there. Good. Ah, uh, okay. Recording! What do you have for me? Not much yet. I can confirm that they're working on a special project. One entire floor in the agricultural department is off limits to most of us. Like we thought. That means that three of the big corporations are in on this. Whatever it is. I'm doing my best to ingratiate myself with my section lead. But I doubt I'll get access anytime soon. Maybe we can get you access some other way. I'll talk to some people. Continue as before. Okay, so that's more of that, that other one. and it didn't light the whole set of planks up, just a couple. And upsy daisy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow, that is not where I thought we were going. You know, sometimes like to do that, you gotta be so close, and that that went like a half a kilometer. What the junk was that? I don't think I was supposed to swing that far forward. Fortunately, it was glass. That probably hurt my noggin. Ooh, that probably just broke under us, didn't it? Ah. Ah, rope, 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 rope. Come on. This is nice and all, but after a while, give me some... You're kidding me. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a swing. Not an ascend. It's all the same button. You know, that much glass. I'm in pain right now. There's no way that I'm just okay after all that. Oh, Jeebus. Tried to skill roll that. What? No. Ah, come on. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Just in case you had any illusions about it maybe coming back after, damn it. Ah. 
No! Uh, come on! What am I doing wrong? Do I need to get more height off of going up the opposite wall and turning around? That shouldn't work. That's not what that's telling me to do anyway. There we go. <gasps> oh, I'm tightrope walking. Karma wants you to be careful, Faith. Hey, you guys. Whoa. There's a huge hole in the wall here. The explosion tore off one of the road lights. That wasn't as fun as the last time around. Oh, there was a runner bag right there. You're getting close, Dave. Plastic is trying to open the elevator doors for you, but see if you can find another route in the meantime. It's not a question of it. You can go to the Ah, okay. Excuse me. Sky City Conglomerate Council. Oh, whoa. Plastic, I need those doors open. No. Now. <gasps> I'm doing my best. There's KSEC everywhere. I said I'm doing my best. The doors are open. Here, they're open. I'm working on it! Ah. Ah. Hey, this one looks like it's not falling apart. I made it. Yes! Kuma's cheering you! Great. That, uh... Uh... Getting shot at... Great. Oh, you're 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 all heart. What about Corporal? Get the hell out. Evacuated just in case. Oh, and uh, in case I don't remember to do so in editing, that that Han Solo running into I the stormtroopers the thing just that's what gotta happen. That's it, I give in. You are the better runner, Faith. You're yeah, the it goes under doubt. Faith, what you want should be in the command center just below you. I'm here. There's a console here. That's it. Connect the Omnistat drive and the virus will do the rest. And you should probably expect some guards to show up any minute. Yeah, I'm sure. And then it doesn't do it. As I suspected, what do you hope to accomplish here? I'm giving people the right to decide things for themselves. Oh, Faith, hasn't it ever occurred to you that people might want reflection? They just want the pretty lie you're giving them, not the ugly truth. Oh, yes, the truth is always ugly, isn't it? As you should know. It's your mother's work that you intend to wreck, after all. She never wanted this. You perverted everything she ever stood for. What do you know of her reasons? You were a child. You're still a child. Wantingly destroying everything around you. I promised your sister that I would capture you alive. Submit, and you won't be harmed. Never. <sighs> okay. Eyes on profile breaches. Apply. <laughs> Ow. Okay, with the whoop. Uh, come on. Uh, why the backwards roll every time? Fuck up! <laughs> Alright, I gotta use the environment more. Ah! Ah! 
Run. Uh, if I could, yeah, just getting those vaults going should. That didn't do it. Nobody was close enough during that one. Ow. but I was facing just the wrong way. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. <sighs> nice. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I was wondering what there would be for a boss fight. Kick him in the nads! Damn runt. I should have had you killed with your leech parents. You've lost Kruger. Your control ends here. Reflection is not about control. It's about survival. For you and the other families, maybe. It's time you all withered and died. Do I get to fight on my own, or...? Will there be a quick time event for the first time in the game so I could feel like I participated even though I'm not ready for it? You're dooming your dear sister as well. I'm setting her free. Hardly. Let me guess if there's no. Isabel has a chronic lung condition. With reflection, we've managed to keep it at bay. Destroy You're it. You're lying. Am I? Am I lying? You almost managed to kill right. her once. Out of range of this reflection the stuff. Back. Everyone around you dies, Faith. Did it ever occur to you that maybe you're the one to blame? Shut up! There's a lung condition because of the grenade. You killed my friends! <sighs> and you killed Noah. <sighs> what the hell are you waiting for? Stop that thing and kill her! Cat! Cat! Stop! Cat! Yeah, run. That'll Talk help your lung me. condition. Really? Ah! Yeah, bullshit. Just miss that. I also bullshit on cat doing all this. No, no, no! 
Oh shit! I thought he was gonna, you know, save his own skin and leave and prove to her that he only cares about himself, whatever. Before that, but no, he gets to fall into his own death thing. Don't. Don't understand. I have to. If she was the protagonist, we'd totally understand. You know, where a friend says, Oh, don't do that thing and save this questionable person. <laughs> Looking for people on there. And that's how it all went down. I wish I could say everything changed. That the employees rose up in disgust over reflection and overthrew the conglomerate. But there was no mass uprising. No riots on the streets. Kruger Sec remained in control. Life went on as before. Or almost. Because something had changed. We'd started something. Something we intend to finish. So what was the drawing aside from something that had to do with her mom? And I don't... Oh. They're setting up for a sequel. Which is a very bold move. Like, that's what that was. That was a sequel. Set my ears bugging me after uh, that much headphones on in a row. Um, they're setting up for a sequel, which is a really bold move. Um, and uh, I don't... The first game was more focused... Uh, in its story, and I think it told its story with a better pace. Um, and I, I preferred the relationship there between Faith and Cat. That, um, you know, Faith is the illegal runner and Cat is the police officer, and Faith has the saver and everything like that. And this just. I mean, it's not worse, it's just I don't like it as much. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as opposed if we didn't have the previous version of the story, if we didn't have the previous version of these characters to go with first. Um, but yeah, uh, that was fun. That's Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to think for a while how I compare it to the original game. Because I was saying, oh, I like these characters and whatever. And then after the raid on the lair, character development... Everything seemed rushed after the fall of the lair. Um, we didn't get a lot of development on Dogen. We certainly didn't get a lot on Rebecca Black. Um, and I would have wanted more with her. A more, you know, seeing her get what's coming to her because of the way that she is. Um, it's up in the air if Gabriel Kruger is uh, even still alive at this point. Um, and Kat, or Isabel, whatever she identifies as, probably is Isabel still, because, you know, she didn't kill Faith, but she's definitely not on her side either. And it's setting up for a sequel, and I think a lot of these loose ends that we're seeing, all the things that we didn't get proper development for in the second two acts, are being set up for more stuff in a sequel. And I've heard nothing about a sequel for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Nothing. Um, and I don't think that one's going to happen just knowing uh, this series. I think this one has been better received. Um, the first one was kind of a sleeper hit. This one I think has gotten a little more widespread acclaim. Um, you know, I hope they do get a sequel. I hope this series continues. And I hope we get it as straight 
I, mm, the first game was a complete story, start to finish. Um, and this has a lot of loose threads, which always makes me feel very hesitant um, and uneasy because um, I'm remembering Too Human, which set up for a direct sequel, and then, well, that had uh, a lot of reasons that never happened. So, to set up for a sequel is a very bold move. Um, yes, this is the second in the series, um, so I think it's got a little bit more of a claim to be able to do so, but, um... Still, yeah, it's a bold move. But anyway, uh, let's see if there's something post credits. Even though the credits just stop scrolling. Music by Solar Fields, good. Yep, I enjoyed it. Although the, it didn't didn't have the theme. That's why I've been putting it at the start of every episode, just to be safe. Up, uh, oh, more credits. So aside from storyline, um, I think Mirror's Edge did better as a fully linear game. Like, as an open world, yeah, they added the things that made it work by adding in, um, you know, modifying the runner vision that it gave the path and everything like that. But I think just the game concept serves better as uh, a linear game instead of open world. Um, with open world, there were a lot of compromises. There was a lot of, do I go this way, do I go this way? A lot of, a lot more drops into the empty street below. Um, and from a gameplay standpoint, it didn't feel that great. Um, having the heavy and light attacks were interesting and could have offered more variety, but I think that combat in the first game was still just fine with the single button. Um... Yeah. Uh, I haven't gone back for collectibles yet, um, and I don't know that I will. I enjoyed the game for the story, uh, and for the feel and everything like that, but uh, I'm not going to go back and do all the side missions and get all the runner bags and all the security chips and hack billboards and everything like that. I'm just... Um, this game's not pulling me in that deep. Um, I think in third person an open world works better in Assassin's Creed because there's more situational awareness around yourself. Whereas in first person, it naturally limits you um, to what you can see. Um, there's no gaining an extra angle advantage one place or another um, to know what's over that next jump. Um, and the levels aren't designed in such a way that you're probably going to be safe after that next jump. Um, Again, comparing to Assassin's Creed, pretty much any jump you make, you're going to be okay. There's some that are than others, and you can also look ahead more and see that. That's also a difference between how they are representing 12th, 15th, 18th century architecture, as opposed to 21st, 22nd century architecture. You know, uh, roofs aren't the same anymore. EA Legal, surely this is getting towards the end. They had nothing to do directly with the game, but they still get their names in the credits. <gasps> Software and licenses! This must be the end of the credits! Really? The EULA of their font software is in the credits? Joanna Kruger, CEO of Kruger Holdings, today announced the successor to Gabriel Kruger, had his Kruger stack and missing since the terrible events in Glass recently. Kruger will be superseded by his daughter, Isabel, who, while still mourning her... Well, I have to go. Your sister's the new head of Kruger stack. Hmm. Interesting. Plastic made a breakthrough with Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off.
I am sure glad to be rid of that crap. <laughs> That's one I owe you forever, Faith. So, what are you gonna do next? I'm gonna run. Yep, that was predictable. Oh, and that's a good way of getting us into the open world in case we wanted to. So Isabel Kruger is really your sister? I'm so glad that he's still around. Mine alone. For the pre-recorded whatevers. <sighs> okay, guys. Well, that'll do it. That was a nice setup for continuing on and for being able to wander the open world. Um, thank you very much for watching. How did I get down from that perch? Magic. Thank you for watching the series Mirror's Edge Catalyst for Boater Play Something. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I went through all my thoughts while the credits started rolling in the first five minutes, as opposed to following 20 minutes after that. Um, yeah, good game. It has some shortcomings. Good game. Uh, I enjoyed playing it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can uh, subscribe down below to see all videos as they come out, including whatever the next series is going to be. And at the moment, I don't know what that is. So you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.com slash Boaterbug to stay updated on things like that. You can also support me on Patreon.com slash Boaterbug. If you enjoyed the series, please share it with your friends. You can uh, share the full playlist that you can see uh, on my channel, YouTube.com slash Boaterbug. You can uh, see that right there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, Boater Plays Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Have a good one, and I will see you next time with a brand new series. Till then!